This is the new Kanugi Zig CC850. And with the all new reinvented manual transmission, with also similar designs to the 2021 Kanugi Zig Jesco Absolute, in this video, I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about this new CC850. Kanugi Zig have stated the new CC850 is an ideal combination of the classic design and cutting edge technology, which is engineered to be the perfect driver's car. Inspired by the original CC8S, the CC850 features the classic Kanugi Zig silhouette with interior and exterior design. The design on this car is more plain and simple, not featuring any large spoilers or crazy sharp edges. It has a wide, thin front and rear diffuser to keep it stable at high speeds, with a huge side air vent leading straight in to cool the engine, with a slick and similar finish round the back to the Jesco Absolute. The headlights and brake lights are smaller and similar to the new Ford Mustang, with three being the magic number, followed with a pop-out spoiler similar to that on the Audi TT and the Lexus RCF. The build of this Kanugi Zig is typically what they do to the rest of all their other models, pairing a carbon fibre mono chassis with a double wishbone suspension all around. The ride height is hydraulically adjustable with a 30mm adjustment at the front and a 20mm adjustment to play with at the rear. The CC850 is running 21 inch Michelin cut 2R rubber tyres. Behind those Michelin tyres are a set of 410mm and 395mm carbon ceramic brake discs with six piston calipers in the front and four piston calipers at the back. Under the hood, the design has been enhanced for a smoother and more relaxed driving experience, Kanugi Zig have said, including a new engaged shift system and light speed transmission. The CC850 be running a twin turbocharged 5 litre V8 engine, sourced from the Jesco. However, numbers are still thin on the 0-60 and the top speed of this car. But I calculate it won't be far off the Jesco doing 0-60 in 2.6 seconds and having a top speed of around 300 km an hour. The Engage Shift System, or known as ESS for short, has a 6 speed manual gearbox including a clutch pedal with a fully automatic transmission with super fast and timeless shifting. Depending on the experience the driver desires at the given moment, the manual gearbox and clutch allows the driver to feel a real connection with the car and road. If the driver engages the automatic mode, it allows for a more sit back and relaxed journey so you can enjoy more seamless shifting and effortless performance behind the wheel. The new CC850 allows for a whopping 1385 brake horsepower and the weight only being 1385 kg, this allows the CC850 to be the only mega car to boast about the 1 to 1 power weight ratio. The peak downforce at 155 miles an hour 249 kilometers an hour is rated at 207 kilograms 456 pounds however this means the cc850 won't be breaking any new speed records it will offer the driver an idea of pure power ultimate driving experience kanugi sigs state that while driving the car it will help to get a more nimble and agile feel to this car the CC850 offers the original chrono cluster design from the earlier kanugi zig ccx but with a modern twist having been so inventive outlining the RPM and speed visual in this car. The new version shows the different gear ratios based on the engaged gear, while the RPM and speed needles change their movement speed to account for this. This comes from the idea of a complex dial set of high-end watches. The combination of digital and physical interfaces integrates into a familiar design layout for these modern hypercars. Following its launch, Christian von Knugizig have stated they're going to make an additional 20 CC850s on top of the planned 50 that they were going to make. However, this still doesn't come close to the high demand of customers wanting these cars. However, this does consider brand loyalty. Clearly, Knugizig struck a chord into the fans, bleeding their roots into thinking a timeless design that stands apart from the rest. Kanugi Zig say they're very humbled and grateful for the response and will do the utmost to exceed expectations on the new CC850. No specific prices have been set, but we can expect a price point of over £2 million per unit for the lucky few given the chance to buy them. It's a tricky thing to try and create a hypercar brand from nowhere in the 21st century, and while some competitors like Pagani have made it work with the experience. Christian von Kanugi Zig has defined the odds not just to survive but create these amazing cars over the past 20 years and it's definitely worth celebrating. 
Not a bad celebration for Mr. CVK on his 50th birthday too. Welcome to the 2022 Koenigsegg stand. The Koenigsegg press the conference featuring the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've been here for uh, eight years now, not counting in the COVID uh, uh, shutdown. Uh, so it's a place we really love coming back to. It's full of so many nice people, so many nice cars, and, and just the greatest vibe in, uh, in the automotive universe, I think. The CC850. So the CC8S stood for Competition Coupe 8 cylinder supercharged. It also runs on renewable fuel, which is very important to us so that we can save the experience of the combustion engine without uh, sacrificing the environment. But uh, we have a very short time slot here, so instead of me talking, I think you want to hear what the car sounds like. Ooh, let's go. So, I mean, uh, fundamentally, the transmission is the same as in the Yesco, the 9-speed oh, wow. LST, but we figured out a way how to make a manual out of it. Uh, of course, you don't want to have nine forward gears. That would be way too confusing and way too many slots. But as we have nine gears to choose from, in the, from a gearbox that is as compact and lightweight as a six-speed gearbox, as we're compounding three times three gears into nine, we, we figured out that we can make a six-speed gearbox uh, with a wonderful gated shifter. And then we have different gear rates just for track use and normal use. Wow. So we make use of all the gears. <laughs> so, for example, when you go to racetrack, you don't drive very much in first. You just need to get out of the pits once or sure. twice. So you can have a really tall first gear so you can compact the rest of the gears into a very drivable state. Like race cars do, they always have long first gears. So actually in, in, in racetrack mode, first slot is the equivalent of third out of the nine. And then it's kind of tightly stacked. But in normal mode, you're actually taking off on second gear. It, first gear is super short, you don't need that for manual. Gotcha. So uh, second gear out of the nine is equal to a shorter gear ratio than we had in our six-speed manual before on the first gear. Wow. And then the next one, two, is actually fourth gear because that matches perfectly third gear in a six-speed gearbox. But then you can slide over the shifter and put it into drive and then you have nine-speed automatic. Oh, so there's actually a mode there for well, show you. drive? So here you have the slots for manual shifting. And if you film down there, you can see this beautiful chronograph yeah, kind of mechanism incredible. down there. And then you push it over here, and then you have reverse, and there you have drive. Wow. Nine speed automatic. <laughs> that is so cool. It has three pedals, so when you're in manual mode, it's actually complete like a normal manual. The clutch is directly connected to the clutches, hydraulic clutches. It just moves one to one, like in a, in a traditional manual. But then you can choose manual shifting with great feel and feedback from the transmission for just going into drive. And you can jump out of drive and just go into manual. And it is, it is like a completely normal manual manual that if you're trying to shift down to a too low gear it will hold the detent and you can't just pull the gears out of gear you need to use your clutch and it's it's just a normal manual but in a completely new tank.